Kayla Bucks, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. <laughs> if, the, if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support. You know, you keep pushing out positive energy and then you, you're doing a lot of things for yourselves as well as others. And that's a beautiful blessing. And it's just like, you know, it helps us heal a little bit. Well, it helps us feel a lot better to me, it does. And it helps me heal as well, you know, when you're able to, you know, reach out and do something for somebody selflessly. And knowing that you're not doing it, you know, just for a reason, but you're doing it because you feel good or you, you know what it feels like to not have anything. So, you know, you keep doing that. You keep pushing out that love and positivity and keep, you know, shining in your truth. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it you know, impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been very informative to you and something that you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to is called Wipe Out Subconscious Blockages and negative energy peaceful meditation music instant inner peace amen hallelujah yes my video today is about twin flame 101 empaths know your worth we need to know our worth it's just like we have you know if you've been through um a lot of childhood abuse no matter if it's emotional mental sexual just any kind of abuse anything that has you know messed you up made you put walls up make you not trust you don't trust less you know anything like that you have to know your worth because it's like you have you could have grown up in to a household where you know um where things has just been you know where you have um oh excuse me i accidentally uh messed that up um have been talked down to you know that you were less than a person that you didn't matter or you would never amount to anything you have to know your worth because it's just like somebody probably told them that same thing of them growing up so they're only teaching what has been taught to them or what's been reflected out to them or what's been exposed to them you know and it's just that you can grow up like with me um even though i knew there was somebody out there that loved me I just didn't feel like there was anybody out there that loved me. I knew there had to be somebody for everybody. That's how I always felt. But I used to feel like I wasn't loved or anything because of how, you know, my family was. You know, my mom was always depressed and angry because of the things that she went through with my father. And it was like the things that my father used to tell me and what his wife used to tell me and his family. You know, I used to poke, get poked fun of all the time. And, you know, being called the trust fund kid or, you know, it's just a little crazy stuff like that. But it made me feel like there was something always wrong with me. Like, you know, what's wrong with me? Why does, you know, anytime I ever meet anybody through them, they always looked at me funny or they always poked down at me and stuff like that. But I had to realize that was something that, you know, when people feel like there's something wrong with you or there's just too much light that you shine, you know, they will try to dim that light by trying to throw dirt on your name or trying to say bad things about you and stuff like that because they can't handle what's right with you so you have to know your worth you have to know that you are lovable know that you are handsome beautiful whatever in god's eyes god made you perfect you know people there are sometimes people are not fortunate enough to be blessed you know blessed like um uh, with um let me see how, how can you say that um you know, they can be blessed, they can be in a good household, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of people that have been like me, been exposed to a lot of things or whatever, and there's some that still grow up in a household like that, and sometimes they still feel that way, because it's just the way, you know, there, I've been around people where they felt like, you know, they had to be bought all the time, and that was kind of like how I felt when, you know, my family started getting into money, it was just like, you know, I felt like, okay, instead of talking to somebody, you always got to, you know, 
pay for something. So it's just like money is always, you know, even though money has always been held over my head all the time, I really feel like, you know, money is not really the issue. It's just how you treat people. It's how your character is, how you uh, represent yourself. Because it's just like what you continue to accept, that's what you will continue to attract. And that's why it's just like, you know, I, I, I demand respect. You know, and if I feel like you can't respect me, I have to keep going about my business because I have been talked down to. I've been humiliated. I've been belittled. You know, I put myself in positions that, like I said, I wasn't proud of, you know, because I didn't care. I didn't care about myself. I didn't care how people saw me at that age, you know, and it's just like now since I'm a lot older and I got more wisdom and, you know, more knowledge in me. You know, I have to know my self-worth. And I have to tell my kids, you have to know your worth. And, you know, that's why I always tell them to still them, you are beautiful. You are smart. You you know, you can do stupid things, but you're not stupid. You know, you tell, you you know, you instill that into your kids. So when somebody out on the street telling them that, you know, it won't be a surprise to them. Because, you know, some people, they're, they're told, oh, you're dumb. You're this, you're this, you're that. Instead of, you know, all the positive things. So when somebody, you know, somebody's running game on them and saying all this stuff that they want to hear, you can't be mad at all the stuff that they come out to because it's just the fact that they weren't used to seeing that. So you have to be able to instill that into yourself, knowing that you you do count. Your opinion does matter. You are somebody. There is somebody out there to love you. And there's people out there that you can attract that can be right for you in your circle. It's right for you in your love life. But it's just the fact that we got to go through those lessons and bless, blessings and bumps and scratches just for us to realize that. Because it's just like nobody's going to take care of you better than you. Nobody's going to have your back better than you other than God. But that's what I'm saying. You have to be able to take care of yourself. But know your worth. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Um, send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Have a blessed week. Knowing that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shot out goes to, let me see who am I going to get today. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh, let me see. Miss Teresa Anderson. Anderson, much love to you, sis. I hope you're having a blessed week and everything's going good for you. But. As always, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line, I love to chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, and, you know, hit that notification so you know I'm about to upload my next video, so now much love, into infinite abundance, positivity, and healing vibes, uplifting vibes, and loving vibes if you truly need it, and knowing, you know, better days are coming for you, and you are truly loved, even when you feel like you're alone, you are never really alone, so I will see you on my next video, much love. Love to you. Peace and be wise.